Welcome back to the Bentley Arena. My name is Matty O'Brien. With me, my partner tonight, Andrew Reed. And we're in for a great one here. As that puck knifes away to the sideboard. Kanisha's trying to center it. Hodgson and Scott have different plans. And at the point, Kanisha's a goal! Kanisha's coming out fast. We talked about that, Andrew, in the open. They needed a jump to center that one. Poke with it again in the slot. Ambrosio oh. comes out from behind Grandy. Finds that puck in the slot and just puts it in right past Grandy's blocker. Lapine with some space. Centers that one. Martin can't control it. Auger the shot can't get it. Grandy sliding across. Just misses the puck as Lee Lapine sits on that far post. Grandy makes a few saves there. And Bentley, with nine seconds to go on that first penalty, gives up the five on three chance. They can't bury it in. But this is already better offense than we saw the entire first 20 minutes. Kanishas setting up the power play. Master Donato to the slot and Kanishas and Austin Auger able to score that one off an exceptional chance by the Falcons. I've seen that a few times tonight. Gosheski with time in the slot. Backhander denies. I think you would have wanted Gosheski to take that shot there. As to Grand down the other way. The shot on Grandy. DeGrand, the snipe over Jason Grandy's glove. We've talked about early period goals, Andrew. Another one for Canisius, a tough break for Bentley. Yeah, it looked like Grandy never saw it or never had a chance. Daniel DeGrandy, that's the fifth goal of the night for the Golden Griffins. The lights are going, sirens are going, but that goal did not go in. And this Phil is Nisman not a fire corner. alarm. Yeah, <laughs> that was a different kind of alarm. Oh my, DeGrand now answering the bell on the other end. That's going to be an empty netter.